please know that those moments where it really is terrible we decided to make the most of it and took some pictures by the tree they look great as ever but i had to have about 15 retakes no exaggeration due to my hairline being so dodgy in my view okay for this guy you have an like probably an argument with your family over taking a nice family picture and it's ruined by the uh the whole balding right the whole how you're dealing with that the insecurity around it kind of ruins that moment um, and it might, for this guy it was hats, for other people they might, be, they might need, oh hang on, hang on, I need to go upstairs and or I need to go in the bathroom and put some more hair fibres in there or I haven't had my hair cut in a while so it looks terrible so you don't even feel good about taking the picture so maybe in that moment you're just, you know, you're not enjoying it, you just, your mind is on the whole hair thing. Know that that is actually the first step in getting through this so if that is you now, if you're having those things, you're already on the journey to putting this whole thing behind you and embracing the whole thing, moving past it. Honestly, that is the first step. I just wanna add onto this video that I'm actually gonna start a second YouTube channel. If you're interested in me, what I do and things like that, I'll leave a sneaky link in the description of this video. We're gonna be putting out bangers there. How's it going everyone? We're back for another video out here this morning. And uh, the first step, you know what we got to do, we got to grab that coffee. Let's go. It's not too early, it's like 8 o'clock, but it's lovely and quiet. Welcome to the video, we got my coffee in hand. And uh, we're out here again for another kind of unscripted a uh, little walk around and today what I want to do is share you a story that I had uh, via email right via email and I want to share that with you because there were especially two points in this guy's journey his journey to uh, embracing the bold look getting past balding once and for all two parts specifically that I think can really help a lot of you out there provide you with a lot of value and it's a reason for me to get out here do these uh, talking videos that I know a lot of you guys like so I appreciate all the feedback on the last one that we did the let's talk and we're back out here again um, we've made a few changes as you can see um, first of all I need to shout out my uh, coffee cup here this one reusable of course uh, the channel sponsors leaf shave guys if you want to treat yourself if you want to invest in a razor check out leaf shave down in the description box and Incredibly, I've got to thank Adam. Adam is powering this video. This video has been powered by this coffee, donated by Adam via the link, uh, the buy me a coffee link down below. I've got loads of you to thank for that. So thank you so much to each and every one of you who sent a little something over there on buy me a coffee. Um, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna be thanking you directly in these videos because yeah, literally you are helping to power these videos, get the value out there, and in turn help a lot of people out there as well. It's a little bit windy, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna head over there into uh, somewhere with a bit more coverage, uh, a bit less wind, and um, we're gonna get started with this young man's story, and I really hope it helps you guys out there. Enjoy. Okay, oh the elephant's back. Okay guys, so here we are. Sit back, relax, maybe pause this video, go grab yourself a little beverage, and uh, let me know, let me know if uh, you had a similar experience or if you are having a similar experience. So um, here's Andrew's story guys. He says he wants to um, thank me for inspiring him to uh, embrace the, the balding, right? He's 26 years old and he started to lose his hair when he was uh, 22. He said it wasn't so bad, but it was evident that it was going to happen. I kind of put it to the back of my mind. As my crown was getting worse and more on show, year by year, I contemplated shaving it all off so often, so many times, right? But he worried about all the things we know of. So we worry about the reactions, the fears of how it's gonna look, and it, you, all those stories you tell yourself about how you're gonna be kind of outcast from society, right? Back in March, he had a lot of time to grow his hair and he was unable to get it cut. I know there's a lot of people like that as well. And whilst I still worked through the lockdown, it made my anxiety worse as it made my bold spot more noticeable. 
okay so the classic longer hair thing i'm going to get on a different path here because it's kind of hard for me to look at my phone and talk so you know a strategy for a lot of people is to grow the hair longer uh to kind of maybe fluff it up mask that balding a bit the crown it's just difficult for when you go and bold at the crown because the sort of weight of the hair then kind of pulls it down and it actually does the reverse right it kind of reveals the bold spot a little bit more um so that was this guy's experience right this was andrew's experience so uh, it made it worse and his anxiety got worse he realized how much money he was spending on haircuts so during the lockdown obviously he couldn't go and get a haircut and then he suddenly realized how much money he actually was spending on haircuts just to keep it short and stylish enough to make the bold spot unnoticeable right so a classic tactic there frequent haircuts we're talking like every couple of weeks um to try and keep that style because yeah you know that fresh out of the barber shop they make you feel good right those barbers a lot of barbers out there can do a good job so when you're fresh out there you feel good difficult to recreate a week later two weeks later to go back for another 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 cut so he realized how much he was spending um okay so here we go long story short he shaved it off so he's gone with it shaved it off but he's gone into the shave with that safety net of i'm only doing it to see how it looked and he's put that in his email here in brackets in uh, quotation marks he's doing it to see how it looks so that's kind of what he he told everyone i guess and told himself um, so immediately he starts to grow it back out and he said two weeks after growing it back out it looked horrible and he had all those same fears right same fears so he said I liked the moment I shaved it off but was clouded by how bad it looked when it started to grow back okay so he likes that sort of clean look but as it was growing back sort of week two weeks in the balding kind of becoming more visible okay I had the same experience with that three tone the triple tone action that I talk about so much and um he hated it right he hated it so here we go once my hair grew back the problems with the bald spot kept arising but the stress and the fear of shaving it again was harder which is really interesting right so he still feels that same stress that same fear but the, the fear of shaving it off um was more so right was he was in more, in more fear of actually shaving it off it's getting a little bit windy here again so i wonder if i need to uh go somewhere else Okay, got the cup in the pocket, phone in hand, we're all good, we're all good. After a very emotional Christmas Eve incident where I couldn't even have a picture with my parents because I was embarrassed, how my hair looked, I had to get a hat on. Buy the Christmas tree in a nice picture with the family. This isn't on, right? This isn't on, this isn't okay, he said. So there he is, right? Christmas with the family, taking a lovely picture by the Christmas tree. And um, the moment's ruined because of fear of how the hair's looking revealing that bold spot in that lovely family picture the hat has to go on probably his family members didn't want him to be wearing a hat in that picture and uh possibly some arguments there he said but that was the moment that kicked him into gear and at 2 a.m on boxing day i got my clippers out and buzzed it off it took a while i was scared but i knew i had to do it and the relief was incomparable to anything ever so this really highlights and i'm gonna there's he sent me a follow-up email with more details about those incidents so if you're interested in that keep watching guys but i just want to kind of uh talk a little bit more about that defining moment for him right and uh and just say to you guys that a lot of you are going to have different experience with this right but please know that those moments where it really is terrible okay for this guy you have an like probably an argument with your family overtaking a nice family picture and it's ruined by the uh the whole balding right the whole how you're dealing with that the insecurity around it kind of ruins that moment um and it might for this guy it was hats for other people they might be, they might need oh hang on hang on i need to go upstairs and or i need to go in the bathroom and put some more hair fibers in there or i haven't had my hair cut in a while so it looks terrible so you don't even feel good about taking the picture so maybe in that moment you're just you know you're not enjoying it you just your mind is on the whole hair thing know that that is actually the first step in getting through this so if that is you now if you're having those things you're already on the journey to putting this whole thing behind you and embracing the whole thing moving past it honestly that is the first step um so take some comfort in that right take some comfort in knowing that so uh that's an interesting thing for this guy that was the moment he was like no he shaved the head once but he did it with that little like 
oh i'm only doing it to see how it looks not really committed don't really feel committed to it that just wasn't his time and that's okay that's fine because in the end as you'll hear this story played out really well okay he just had to go through those different steps to get to that final point it's raining here oh, excuse me it is really raining now but uh, I'm, I'm committed to the course so let's finish this video so here we go kicked him into gear he got his clippers buzzed it off took him a while he was scared but i knew how to do it and big relief this time i shaved my head and had nothing but love the fear of the reaction is no longer there because people I know who matter have all seen me with a bold head and they support me. Those who have met me since won't react. And this is another key point actually I forgot to mention. Those who have met me since shaving his head won't react as that's all they know. They just know me with this current look. So there are no crazy reactions. It's not nothing of a surprise or anything, right? And that is also important to remember. All of the people that you're gonna meet in your future are just gonna know you with this fresh, different look that's all it is it's a different look okay so they're not going to be like oh but what did you look like many a year ago they're not worried about that okay they know you for you in that moment and that's a lovely thing that's a lovely thing to kind of kind of remember it's been a massive embracing that has changed my life in such a short time i've really got myself into gear i've started saving money again to move house all of these things i never realized i was putting off because all my attention was on the top of my head not on the important things in those moments okay so man man man, man. andrew thank you so much for your email Okay, thank you so much for that email, most importantly. And if you're watching this one, guys, I think you can, can know why I wanted to share that. There's actually three key things in there um, in Andrew's story that I thought could be really helpful for you. And maybe just help you reflect on your own journey with it. Maybe you're having some of those same experiences, right? And you can kind of see how it played out for this guy. Or maybe you're thinking about changing your strategy. You never know. This is the thing, guys. You never know what the thing will be that... Uh, just helps you think differently about it and and allows you to uh to think like right you know what i'm not doing this anymore i'm not letting this thing control me anymore i'm moving past it i'm done with it so that's why i share these stories that's why i continue and will always continue to make these videos because you never know what the thing is that's going to help a certain person out there um and in order to do so we just got to keep going with it, right? Keep sharing these stories. Keep getting through these boggy quagmire, is it quagmire times, okay? <laughs> That's what we got to do. So Andrew actually sent me an email back. I asked him, I said, dude, congratulations. Like, really happy for you. I would love to maybe talk on your story a little bit if you're happy to. And he said, go for it, mate. Go for it and hear some more context. So that's what we have here now. We're still recording, that's good. So on Christmas Eve, me and my parents were alone for the holidays as everyone was due to, you know, COVID lockdown, such as him and his parents. We decided to make the most of it and took some pictures by the tree. They looked great as ever, but I had to have about 15 retakes, no exaggeration, due to my hairline being so dodgy in my view. I've always been very self-proud on my looks, vain maybe, but I'm not ashamed of how I look until I noticed. So he was never ashamed of how he looked until he noticed he was balding. He said he'd spend 50 pounds a month um, easily on haircuts to preserve that short style to make my bald spot less visible. Just absolute stress, he said, absolute stress. So there he is. Yeah, retake, no, we need to do that picture again. We need to do that picture again. You can see just, would completely ruin the moment right ruin a nice moment with your parents on christmas ruined by um all those feelings and 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 bolding and this is reality though this is the reality for so many guys out there um and i'm sure again you there's things you can relate to i mean the amount of stories i hear like that from from guys um so you're not alone right if, if you're do if you're having those experiences as well just know that uh, he's certainly not alone there. So in his email, guys, Andrew goes on and he kind of finishes off with saying, um, you know, he's had just brilliant reactions, but most importantly, he was also prepared for negative reactions, but in a different way. He didn't fear them like before because he, this time, you know, it was, it was his choice. It was his terms. He was happy with himself, right? He, he said it, he uses the word fulfilling, right? He was like, 
the moment that I just chose to be done with that and I didn't want to have those negative experiences with hair anymore, I was like, how can anyone say anything bad about that to me, um, about a guy who's just out here trying to live his best life, right? There's literally, it's just so much more of a reflection on the person giving the negative comment than it is on me, right? And he really understood that after he um, he just went for it. The, the sort of second time, the time when he was, uh, he really felt ready for it, right? So there you go, guys. That's gonna be the end of this video today, right? Out here, coffee chats, in the woods. Um, I wanna thank you all guys. All you guys out there for watching this video, I really want to thank you. And of course, a massive thank you to Andrew for sharing his story with us. The three points we touched on there, just to quickly recap, you know, you've got those moments where you're really down about it, but that's often the step, the necessary, uncomfortable, necessary step it takes for you to uh, just think differently about it. And this guy said, you know, Andrew said it kept him up that night just thinking about it, thinking about it. And he was one of my 4 a.m. guys that I talk about where just in the middle of the night, you can't sleep, it's keeping you up and you're like, no, I'm done. I'm taking action with it. And um, yeah, just that very action is so fulfilling. It feels brilliant. Thank you as always guys for watching. The rain is coming down here now, but um, I'll be back very soon for another one of these videos. Uh, very soon indeed, because uh, if it's not raining, hopefully I'll be out here tomorrow to film another one. So if you've got any other suggestions, anything you want me to talk about, like in this style of the video, anything at all, drop it down in the comment section below. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you very soon.